Hey everybody, and I'm Uncle Andor here, and welcome to another episode of Manga August. Coming in at number five, we have Saint Seiya, Knights of the Zodiac. Um, uh, now the thing about Saint Seiya is, uh, I did not actually read it at first. Um, for the longest time, I avoided reading it. For the longest time. Uh, and the reason why is because, um, uh, a friend of mine, uh, an old friend of mine back in middle school, uh, told me of a manga that was absolutely horrible because th they kill off everyone. Like, the good guys lose, the good guys lose, Earth is destroyed, that's how the manga ends. Uh, but it wasn't Knights of the Zodiac. I thought it was. It was Knights of something else. Um, Knights of something. I can't remember exactly. I can't remember what it, what it was anymore. But uh, for the longest time, I thought it was Knights of the Zodiac. Uh, I thought that that was Knights of the Zodiac. And so I avoided reading it because I'm like... If the bad guys w if the bad guys win and like Earth is destroyed, why would I want to read twenty eight volumes uh, hoping to see a happy ending? Like, don't get me wrong, I like rooting for the bad guy. I like rooting for the bad guys. Like someone has to, someone has to root for the bad guys. And personally, I think that the villains of the story, the villains of any given story, are usually more interesting than the main characters. Uh, because you want to know how they got how they got here. You want to know what their reasonings are. You want to know, like, what exactly happened to them to turn them evil in the first place. And they are very interesting characters. The villains are usually more interesting than the heroes. Uh, and so, like, I usually tend to root for that. I usually tend to root for the bad guys. I know the good guys are going to win, and I can still enjoy the good guys. But I still kind of root for the bad guys just because, just because well... Again, someone has to, but, like, that's not a good manga. Like, a, an example of a good manga where the villain is the main character is Death Note. That is amazing because it lasted for only 12 volumes. It lasted for only 12 volumes. Well, yes, it was supposed to have, like, eight more volumes, one more arc after that. Uh, and got cut off, and it got cut before uh, that could be started. But it's still an example of uh, a manga that is done well, where you want to root for the villain. Um, but let's talk about Knights of the Zodiac. Uh, Saint Se Saint Se. Uh, the Saint Sia franchise is very old. It is an old franchise. It is amazing. I love the Saint Sia franchise. Um, and the reason why it's number five, I did have it higher up uh, on this list. But the reason why it's number five uh, uh, instead of like number four or three uh, is mainly because of, again... The ending. Um, now, not to say that it didn't leave me wanting more. Uh, not to say it left me wanting more because I did feel I did feel satisfied with how the ending was. I felt very satisfied with how they ended the manga, with Sia sacrificing himself in order to take down Hades, in order to destroy Hades, uh, and save Ath save Athena. And the world. He sacrificed himself to do it. And. Uh, the uh, And. Athena. And his four. Athena and Sia's four friends. They all. Leave the underworld. Go back to the north. Go back to. Uh, and go back to. The normal. They all leave. They all leave the. Uh, underworld and all go back to the normal world, the human world. Uh, <clears throat> Carrie and Sia's dead body. They all come. They all come back, and 
it was just a very it was a very beautiful ending. I very much enjoyed it, and I it was very satisfying. A very satisfying end to me. Was I sad to see Sia go? Yes, because yes, because like you just felt like he could do anything. That no matter what, he would always get back up. That there was no way of they could kill him. That he was he was as immortal as the myth he wears. The myth of the Pegasus. Like he was as immortal. Uh, he was as immortal as the legend of the Pegasus itself. <clears throat> and so to see him die was very heartbreaking. Uh, however, continuations of the story uh, in both animes and in both anime and manga forms that continue on years later, years in the future, and you find out that Sia's alive. That Sia lived. He never sacrificed himself uh, in the battle against Hades. And after that, he ended up like just tossing away the... Uh, he just tossed away the Pegasus armor and ended up, uh, and ended up uh, switching to a golden armor. He switched to a golden armor and... I'm just like, really? Really? It just... It just... I, it sucks. It sucks because you had a good ending with Knights of the Zodiac... And then you just completely retcon that ending by saying that he never died. Why have him sacrifice himself in the first place? Just have him open. Just have him open up his eyes. Just show him opening his eyes, uh, like at the end of Knights of the Zodiac. Boom, he's alive. They all return home. Awesome. Why give us that fake out death at the end of Knights of the Zodiac if you're just gonna retcon it and say he lives, he lives, he eh, he lived through that endeavor? Like, why give us that fake out? That is very cheap, and it takes away the satisfaction that I had for the for the ending of the franchise. It just took away that satisfaction. I was satisfied with how it ended, and then you, I find out that. That whole death got retconned, and you find out that he never died, and it's like, great! Now I do, uh, now I do wish that it had continued. I was satisfied with the ending, then they have to say, no, he didn't actually die. Why would you end off uh, an incredibly, uh, an incredibly successful manga if it was... I don't know you, I'm not gonna answer. Uh, it's just... It really sucks. Finally, thank you. Uh, so... That's really all I gotta say. It, it, I do like Saint Sia. I do love it. Uh, I just kind of wish that either one, there was no uh, spin-off manga that takes place years in the future. Either that, or two, or two, I wish that they had had Sia open his eyes at the end instead of saying that he had died. Just have him open his eyes to show us that he's still alive. That he's still kicking. So, I wish they'd done one of those... I wish the writer had done one of those two things, but sadly, that's not the case. And that's why it's... And that's why it's number five. So, thanks for watching. Hope you, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.